Gemini, hello. Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your June shift reading. So we are looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like for you. So Gemini, first of all, happy birthday. Before I get into cards, I'm going to talk about the image that came through that may be useful for you this month to work with, maybe also helpful to... Um, extrapolate on the reading that comes through. So the image is a little strange. Go with me. It's sort of of an, of an amoeba, like an amoeba-like growth or substance. It's like this um, primordial soup sort of energy of like something new and it was very like globby. It's like this glob monster <laughs> beginning to form. And it was like hungry. You know, it was like, you need to feed the glob monster. I mean, listen, maybe this is just me because I have sourdough on the brain. So it's like a sourdough starter kind of a thing. But it's that energy and it feels a little more archetypal, a little larger symbol for you in your life of like something very nascent, very basic elements. I mean, a sourdough starter is only flour and water, you know, mixing ratios of flour and water over and over and over to create, to begin to grow something that is very much alive. So you might be just at like the very beginning stages of growing something in your life that is very much alive and it is hungry and it's like, feed me, see more. Okay. Like that kind of thing. That's what I felt and I felt it start to grow and change and get bigger and bigger and then like the more you feed it the more it then has it begins to evolve and it begins to grow um, like appendages that help it move forward and like suddenly it's not just this little like glob thing suddenly it's like able to move and it has shape and it's starting to take form okay so it, that's the image that's coming through. Let's see how that translates in the cards. So Jim and I were using this Bolia Tarot today and we're going to start by asking what is the shape that Gemini is shifting out of in the month of June, in your birthday month? Many of you. All right, Gemini. What is the shape Gemini is shifting out of this month? That was fast. One second. Okay. Interesting, because I saw this in your pre-shuffle. It's the King of Cups. All right. Why am I feeling like that's been in a recent reading of yours? Maybe not your April or your, maybe not your May shift, but maybe your April shift reading. I don't know go back and investigate maybe. Okay, King of Cups, let's see what is the shape you're shifting into? What is the shape Gemini is shifting into in the month of June? Five of Cups. So here's the shape shift. This is a little heavy, Gemini. Well, first of all, there's the full moon, right? Hello, eclipse season. The King of Cups is coming through in this reading for you as no longer withholding emotional truth. Speaking your perspective, speaking your emotional truth, coming forward with something emotional in nature, expressing it somehow. Maybe expressing your heavy emotions that you've been feeling, expressing your grief, or somehow like expressing yourself emotionally to someone or in some way is helping you to release uh, heaviness, emotional heaviness, maybe release the past release something that you've been um, struggling to let go of.
this is interesting. It's, it's like this. And I, I'm curious to see how this ends up playing out because it might actually be slightly different than what I just said. It might actually be that this is someone else. That you are in this state of dwelling on what is not working or dwelling on a situation that is long gone. And it's like someone maybe comes up behind you because I'm looking at the King of Cups with this outstretched hand and then this outstretched hand coming and being like tap, tap, Gemini. Turn around because there's a full cup on offer right behind you. Both the King of Cups is holding that and we see the Ace of Cups here. It's like if you can stop dwelling on what isn't working or dwelling on something that you that is lost, something that is past, something that is no longer here. Tap, tap, turn around. There's something else with a full cup waiting or someone else with a full cup waiting. This is interesting. Developing nicely. I like that, Gemini, because there's, there's something in that in terms of, okay, back in maybe February or March, um, I did a collective reading on the pandemic and your guide that came through that collective reading was the Three of Cups. And this talks about releasing emotional pain, hurt, heartbreak. And we see a similar energy coming through with the Five of Cups. Tap, tap, tap. Hey. There's a full cup here if, if you can release this pain. If you can let go of the pain you're holding, you'll see that there is a full cup of something more emotionally fulfilling or perhaps a new beginning emotionally right behind you. But it does require like releasing what is no longer part of your experience or releasing something so that it is no longer part of your experience. Okay, let's see what that shift looks and feels like for Gemini in the month of June. Too many cards. One more. Ah, too many cards. Yeah, there's something new on offer for you here. Okay. It's like this. I think this could have to do with a connection, um, a, an emotional connection, maybe even a romantic connection because we've got such intense emotional energy here, energy of grief and loss and um, maybe even like breakup type energy, um, heartbreak, betrayal, stuff like that. Here's the thing. The King of Cups and the Knight of Swords seem to be the same energy. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is what your shape shift looks like. The Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. I'm not sure it's supposed to go in that order solidly and I reserve the right to change it as we go. Um, It's like, what is it like? <sighs> yeah, it is like that. Okay. I just had to make sure. Here you are, Gemini. And you know what? Switch roles. This could be someone in your life and you're playing the role of the King of Cups, but I'm going to just call it how I feel it. And I'm feeling it as this is you. 
looking at something in your life that is causing you grief that um, maybe is no longer part of your experience that you seem to be dwelling on difficult to let go of this hanging on to it and the king of cups and the knight of swords are coming in right behind you tap 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 gemini turn around because we want to show you something it's like a it's the energy of a revelation you know it's like the the knight of swords comes in swiftly and in this um depiction of the knight of swords cuts through this energy of the storm to reveal that it's actually not really happening it's just a painting you know the tornado that the five of cups can feel like this like intense emotional heavy scary experience it's like hold on this this king of cups is trying to come through and slice through that for you to reveal what to reveal a gold background to reveal something golden that you're not able to see in this energy and that golden it's translating through it in, in the ace of coins it's like this is what's on the other side once that like once the truth slices through the noise then suddenly or slices through the cloud of emotional pain and obscure that, that is obscuring something else something golden and it seems to be attached to this ace of coins because of the golden halo around the bird's head and also notice your guide through this whole pandemic time is this bird that is clutching these swords really maybe having a hard time releasing this having a hard time letting go of this and the knight of swords comes in and says whoosh you know like almost like i'm seeing the knight of swords as like um cutting the swords out of your hands cutting them out knocking them out of your talons so that something else can come in because it's like this ace of pentacles which is similar to the energy of this ace of cups Aces are new beginnings. After an ending like this, after something that's grieving you like this, you need this kind of ace energy. You need the energy of a, of a new beginning, of something new that is refreshing for your spirit and also that is has the potential to be like sustainable. And it seems like that's wanting to drop in for you. It's like this, this other bird is waiting to drop this in your lap as soon as you release these swords but it's like you won't be able to catch the coin if your hands are occupied with all these swords all of this like emotional heartache or maybe emotional baggage or some sort of emotional situation maybe from the past that it's like release this so that and and the ace of pentacles is something tangible something that's here for you right now that you can touch taste smell feel and and that ace of pentacles is facing the two of cups which is this like beautiful balanced reciprocal relationship and, and it feels like this one here feels like the King of Cups to me. It's like maybe reuniting with this. This is one way this could be playing out. It's just an example. One partner is here in grief, deep in grief over something really having a heavy emotional time and this other part the other partner you know is coming behind them or friend or family member whatever this is and being like hey come on come up out of this come back to me come back to me maybe this is you gemini come back to me and they just can't stop dwelling on the past they can't see the new 
opportunities that are here now. And so it, it takes maybe some extreme, you know, the Knight of Swords is like more extreme energy. It's on like a more extreme end of the, ex of the spectrum in terms of like quick, intense action. It might take this kind of wake up call almost to cut through this cloud. And then it's like, oh right, here's something real. Here's something we can feel. This is us together. It could be a new beginning for, for a relationship. It could be a new relationship. But again, whatever this is, it's like somebody involved here has got to release, let go of holding on to pain in order to be able to receive this. Yes. Okay. Interesting. I can't wait to dive deeper in the extended. So Gemini, it's eclipse season. We've got an eclipse in um, a lunar eclipse, a full moon eclipse in Sagittarius in the beginning of, Gem of um, Gemini season of June. And we have a solar eclipse, a new moon eclipse in Cancer at the end of the month. So those of you who follow my work, you know I use Sabian symbols every week in my moon stories. Sabian symbols were channeled by a medium in the 20s. It's an image assigned to each degree of the zodiac. The symbol that is associated with um, the, uh, the lunar eclipse in the beginning of June is seagulls watching a ship. This energy of like, watching the ship to wait to see what's gonna happen. And then the Sabian symbol, interestingly, associated with the solar eclipse at the end of the month is the ship lowering an old flag and raising a new one. So there's this idea of like watching and waiting during eclipse season for what's gonna happen, for the old paradigm to be removed and the new to rise up. And how that is applying to you so far, Gemini, in this reading is it's like, letting the, releasing the old grips, the old things that have you gripped emotionally in favor of revealing the new that's trying to come in and settle itself into your experience. I really like it and, and it's very emotional in nature. So we're going to the next world tarot and I'm gonna pull a card specifically for the eclipse energy that's coming through for you, Gemini. So what is the message coming through for Gemini in the eclipses in June? Mm -hmm. Four of Wands. I think there's another card, sorry. I can feel it. It's this one, what is it? Yeah. Judgment, it's a wake up call. Didn't I say that earlier? This is a wake up call. This is like an awakening, a realization. Um, the light shining in to revive something that has been dead. You know, it's like something that has died being reborn, coming back to life, judgment day, the trumpets sounding and the dead rising again. It's like, this is time for what has perhaps come close to dying or near that to like be revived. Maybe it's a relationship feeling an energy of renewal because we're getting this like awakening with the judgment energy and the awakening is this, the awakening is the four of wands. It says harmony, awakening to the music again awakening to the, your song again, to what makes your heart sing. It's almost like the person in the judgment card hears a song and it wakes them up. You know, they hear the song and it's the song of their spirit and they remember. It's really intense energy. It's like remembering, the, I mean, the Four of Wands talks about joy. 
you know, an experience of joy and harmony and togetherness. Two of Cups. So it's like remembering your joy again after being in this kind of a place. Who, Gemini, I'm going to take this into the second half of this reading now, an extended reading where we're going to dive deeper into this and really flesh some of this out and see what this is about. So if this is resonating with you so far and you'd like to join me in the extended, stick around. At the end of this reading, there will be a preview of what that extended gets into. If it's resonating with you and you'd like to view it, click the link in the description box below and that will take you over to Patreon. Patreon is a community online that I've created for folks who are following my work. You know that the way I read cards resonates with you and you'd like to dive deeper. If that sounds like you, head on over to Patreon. Please read the description when you get over there so you know how a patronage works and then I will send you this extended reading for June, all right? Okay, Gemini, thank you so much for joining me here. Maybe I'll see in the extended, maybe not, but thanks for joining me. And if this is resonating with you, if you're enjoying my work, leave me a comment. Let me know how this is sitting with you. Feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. It'll just help this work to grow here on YouTube. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. Happy birthday, and I'll talk to you soon. Ecosystem in reverse, right? But here's the progression. I'm seeing you wished for this. It's your birthday too, haha, <laughs> isn't that interesting? I'm, I'm focusing on the two balloons, two of cups, and the three candles, three of cups. This is speaking of the connection that you are actually longing for, perhaps. Wishing to come back together, wishing to connect. Part of the barrier to this happening could be your the ways that you are choosing to protect your heart and protect your ecosystem and again i'm not saying that you shouldn't protect your heart and protect your ecosystem i think this reading is calling into the into question the ways you are doing that can you protect your heart and your ecosystem and nourish what's right for you without holding on to such like rigidly holding on to pain rigidly holding on to certain stances and certain ideas of what is right and what is wrong? Can you accept the notion that it's not that black and white? Gemini, right? This and that. And can you open your mind to other perspectives? Is it true there is no other? And here comes the thing ringing on the brain. Ding! 